I just wanted to sell them to get enough cash for a coach fare back to Glasgow. Whereabouts in Glasgow are you from? The Milk. The Milk? Aye, the Milk. The what? Castle Milk. Well, I'm glad we got that sorted out. Can we get on with it now? I wish I'd never left. I promised my parents I'd come back in a year if I hadn't found work. If they knew I'd been in trouble with the police... Whose fault was that, eh? You're right. I should never have stolen, but I was hungry. Oh. I just wanted to get home for Christmas. I wanted to be back with my family. I know how you feel, mate. Of course, you know who's going to get the blame for this now, don't you? Shut up, Ray. Me? Will you please give it a rest? I'm trying to think. We'll never find another place now. So what are we supposed to do, then? Send out for some pizzas and take them to the canteen? Do you know that's not a bad idea? We could get a couple of cans of lager, some crisps, some cake... No! Those... Come on, Duncan. Oh, the old bingo hall? Yeah. Yeah. Mum used to go there every Friday night. She won £50 once. She was smiling for a week. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, it might interrupt you, son. No, we're just talking about Glasgow. Nice. Do you mind doing it while I'm on duty? Did you ever drink in the White Feathers on Albion Street? I used to, till I got barred. <laughs> you? Got barred? What for? It's a long story. But me and mine was getting married. Must have been about five of us on the stag do. Started off at Cheapside Street, a couple of pints. Six pints, I can't remember. Jocks. If they all love Scotland so much, why don't they just do us a favour and go back there, eh? Where are you from, Sarge? Aberdeen, actually. I think I see what's keeping Doug. Don't worry, son, we'll sort this out. I'll be home for Christmas then. Let's see what I can do, eh? I cannot believe you just bought that story. OK, so I felt sorry for the wee guy. What's wrong with that? He's guilty of conspiracy to rob and GBH, that's what. <laughs> we don't know that yet. I do. We haven't finished our inquiries. Well, it ain't going to take long, is it? Don't you remember what Smithy said about the security guards? He was a bit weird, yeah? He just thought there was something that didn't sit right. I think we should take a careful look instead of jumping to conclusions. Nah. There's good news and bad news. Go on. Well, they could fit us in at 9.30. And what's the bad news? It's a vegetarian restaurant. And we're not allowed to take alcohol on the premises. Get back in the car, Reg. Who saw one of them? A Scotch bloke, yeah. Did he eat her? No, it was the other one. The one behind me. Did you see who that was? I couldn't, could I? I haven't got eyes in the back of my head. Got quite a few stitches, though. Before you got hit, did you see anyone with the Scottish guy? Not who? Don't know, you tell us. Was the Scottish bloke on his own, or was there someone with him? I can't remember. I think he was by himself. I might be wrong, though. There was a lot of customers there. Oh, you can't give up. Why not? Well, I've been looking forward to this. Of course, you know it's all down to Smithy, don't you? If he'd been a little bit more diplomatic, we wouldn't have been in this mess. Well, get Smithy to sort it, then. Oh, I dare to think what he'd organise. Probably take us to an unlicensed vegetarian restaurant. Oh, there's a new club opened up round the corner. Yeah, it's only been open about a month. What's it called? The Mausoleum. Any good? Yeah, very good. I went there with... Well, I went there last week. Sugar? Yeah, please. You lost your ring here? Ho, ho, ho. <clears throat> I've got information about a robbery, but I need to be back in my grotto in ten minutes. Uh, yeah, but, uh, well, you would be able to cordon off an area up there, would you? Oh, lovely, yeah. Uh, there's 25 of us, uh... No, there shouldn't be any trouble. We're all covers. Yeah, um... <sighs> how much of a supplement? Oh, no, 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 that's not unreasonable at all, then. Uh, yes, I would like to make that a firm booking, yes. 
My name? Yeah, it's Hollis. Uh, R.P. Hollis. Yeah. P? Percival. <sighs> nice. Oh, good, yeah. Well, we'll see you tonight at 8 o'clock, then. OK, bye. Great, we're in. Yeah, they're going to put some extra tables and chairs out on the balcony for us. Right, so all we've got to do now is tell everyone where to go. Yeah, it might take some time. Uh, Polly, grab a phone. I've got one. Yeah, what if somebody finds out it was us? They won't. No one saw you at the scene. Then no one's going to know you had anything to do with it. Just relax. For God's sake, it's only a party. Party? What party? Paul's just complaining about not going to the uniform bash tonight. Oh, yeah, I'm gutted. Yeah, well, at least you got an invite. No, I didn't. Well, Sergeant Boylan was going to ask you. I had him talking to Mickey about it, but Mickey said you had some work tonight or something. No, I haven't. Well, why would Mickey say that? Good question. Where is DC Webb? He's in the canteen. Well, I get my hands on that little git. Oh, Kate, hang on. I mean, I could have got it wrong. OK. All right, I'll be right down. <laughs> Apparently, Father Christmas wants to see me. Ooh, I hope you've been a good boy. You know I'm always a good boy. <laughs> CID, DS McAllister. No, Danny's not here at the moment. Hello, Rhett. Yeah. The mausoleum. Shipway Lane. Right. Yep. Yeah. I'll tell Danny and Mickey. And Vic. OK. Bye. That was all. For what? Sergeant Boylan, you must have heard what he's like. He's going to invite me to party, not trying to jump me. Yeah, well, it's the same thing to some people. Hello? Yeah, OK. Got to go. Duncan wants me. Yeah, I can't think why. His head was shaved. He was white, about six foot, and he was wearing a black jacket and blue jeans. And you saw him talking to the suspect that we arrested? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah, they were about as close to me as I am to you. So I'm late. What have I missed? Looks like our prisoner's been turned porkies. Popped into Santa's grotto with an IC1 male that matches the guard's description. You're missing Skinhead. I, I, I could tell they were plotting something, all whispers and furtive glances. Sounds like he was wrong, then. Maybe. Why didn't you tell us this before? I had a queue of kiddies to deal with. I couldn't just abandon them. So is that you finished for the day? No, no, no. I'm on a tea break. One of my elves is filling in. I'll get this. No, you got the lunch. I wish I hadn't now. You said you ain't going to drink. The Chandler sees you like this. You're going to be... Here we are. Keep the change. What change? It's £6.50. Come oh. on, mate. All right. Thank you very much. Seriously, if he sees you like this, you're going to be in real trouble. No problem. Ah, many thanks. Come. Kate, have you seen the DCI? I uh, think you went outside, sir. Well, I would have hoped that finished some time ago. I'm sure it did, sir, but um, I haven't seen him at all this afternoon. But I'm sure he's been around, just uh, not in the same places as me, sir. OK, thank you. He's right outside of my office. I know he ran into him. If he smells his booze. Well, haven't you got any mints? I have, yeah. Where? My office. Oh. Yeah, you too. When? That sounds great. Okay, let me just grab my diary. Hang on. 